hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm new to this game. Let me just introduce myself for new people. My name is Michelle Barclay. I have a blog called MLB Lifestyle Blog in Paris on Instagram. Um, I live in Paris, I'm 54. I'm from Manchester, England. And today I'm going to talk about this jacket. This jacket I bought in a French brand called Pimkey. It's a high street store and I bought it in the sale. There's the price. So it was 29.99, 30% off. And then it ended up being very, very cheap. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this jacket. So keep watching. So this outfit is using the jacket that I showed you that I bought in Pimkey. And what I've done to dress it up is I've added a belt. It's quite a cheap looking jacket. If you look at it up close, the cut's not great. But I find with a belt, a bag, a cute top underneath and these lovely shoes that I bought in other stories, it pulls the look together. I hope you enjoyed this look. On to the next one. So with this look, I feel like I can wear the jacket open. As I've mentioned before, it's a quite cheap jacket, it's about $20. So um, it's about taking your eye off the ball. So you don't want people to look too much at the jacket up close. You want them to just see the overall look. So I've added this t-shirt, it's an um, H&M t-shirt. It was 15 euros, I bought it a couple of years ago. And I like mixing prints, meaning this is a gingham check jacket, which we call Vichy in France. And this is obviously a stripy top. And I like that combination of mixing different patterns. It's something that some people can't get used to, but I find it very on trend. And again, I'm wearing these and other store shoes, which are very easy to do, especially for a styling tutorial, where you don't have to be up and down, you can just slip them on. And I love the pointer heel. So I just bought those in the sale. Now, just to talk about accessories with something like this, this is the Longchamp, Longchamp pouch, which is what I call it. Um, in Longchamp, you can get these in every colour. The perfect size just for your phone, your keys and your basics. And you can just pick that up with any outfit. I also have this um, bag, which is Claude de Pierlo, which again is a French brand. So it's quite a high end bag. So again, that detracts from the fact that it's quite a cheap jacket. The trick is to have something slightly more expensive with something slightly cheap. So people are so confused. They don't know who you are and what you're doing. So you're, you're sort of keeping their eye off the jacket, but the jacket is the center point at the same time. So this is sort of semi streetwear. Now, if I wanted to make this more streetwear, I'd wear this with trainers, which I'm gonna do in another look. So bye for the moment. Yo, this is my streetwear look. My attempt at a streetwear look at 54, trying to be chill, gangster cool. So it's just um, another way of showing the jacket. Um, I do exaggerate in some of my sketches. I call them sketches rather than something too serious to be taken with a pinch of salt. So um, I wouldn't particularly wear this outfit, but I could wear this outfit, if you know what I mean. I go to the gym, or I did before COVID, and if you have a jacket like this with you and you have to go out somewhere afterwards that's quite dressy, you can get away with this over a check shirt. It will be fine. So um, I would wear these, something like this, with this outfit. You can't see on the video. I'm already wearing a pair of high top built up shoes, but I don't think you can see them. So I'd wear, you know, trainers, or these are like city shoes that are really cool, Nike ones, high top ones. But um, it means, you know, again, I love mixing patterns. So I'm mixing, mixing and mixing. Everything's mixing, nothing matches. It doesn't matter, it's about attitude. The jacket sort of pulls it all together. The baseball, the baseball hat's nice and dark. The whole thing just comes together and you can wear a nice makeup just because you dress casually. If anything, you know, if you've done, if you've been to the gym and you're sweating, you wash your face in the bathroom, put on some pretty makeup, your hair can be sweaty, you can keep the baseball cap on, keep the shirt on, keep the jeans on, keep whatever you want on. But it's just, you know, it's about attitude and confidence. It's, you know, the jacket will work because you believe it works. If you start feeling uncomfortable with things then you'll never feel confident. So you can mix patterns, you're allowed. You can have things clashing, you're allowed. It doesn't matter. 
it's a case, it's really a question of just feeling honky dunt so bye for now so this is more of a classic Parisian look it's the jacket again um, but just adding a small twist like this is a Burberry scarf oh so British I am oh so British I'm from Manchester they don't come more British than that so you can mix different checks together different colors together it doesn't matter I've just got a simple top on underneath it could be anything you could wear it closed and just use this as the feature you know I've got the berry on because of the black check I've basically thrown on any old thing and I'm wearing it with um, a jean just a chain so I've mixed all types of things I've got the casual jean on I've got a Burberry scarf on I've got a check jacket on I've got a berry on I've got a thousand things going on some people might think this is ridiculous it doesn't match but I feel cool in this outfit and I would feel confident walking down the street I can only wear things that I feel comfortable in other people might find this outfit ridiculous I feel comfortable in this outfit I love this outfit I, for me the check works so well together I just love the way it looks and I feel this sort of British Franco type of look I lived in New York as well for a few years and these are Banana Republic jeans um, it's very hard for me to find jeans and Banana Republic do a very good wide leg jean. I have done jean tutorials, look out for those. I don't wear jeans very often. So, um, bye for now. So another way to detract from a cheap-ish looking jacket is to add something else to draw their eye. So I love this denim shirt that I bought online from Lara Dude. Um, if you don't know Lara Dute, it's a French brand, it's really an online store. It's the most amazing brand, they've got millions and millions of things and the best sales, they're literally giving the stuff away at the end of the sale, 70% off. So I bought this um, denim shirt, it's got like press studs on it, and I love the bow. I got it for about 18 euros in the sale, so it's just perfect. So what that does is, if I walk into the room, I think you see the bow zooming at you first more than you see the jacket but the jacket the contrast of the check against the blue makes the outfit sort of powerful and i think the bow takes away from you staring too much at the jacket and also the cut of the trousers are important the trouser is a zara trouser i love this cut of jacket it's very flattering i'm very high waisted with long legs so um this sort of cut is very good for me. It's got the pockets. And you know, it's all about attitude as well. Sort of if you walk in the room with a cheap jacket, but you've got an attitude that it's an expensive jacket, people will think it's an expensive jacket. So, you know, if you walk in the room and go, oh, my jacket's cheap, oh, don't look at my jacket, oh, my jacket's terrible, then obviously that's not going to work. So if there's one thing I want to teach people today is that you can learn to be confident. I wasn't always confident, believe me, I really wasn't. So it's something you can learn and clothes give me the confidence to have the confidence. It's the other way around for some people. They don't have the confidence to wear the clothes, but when I wear a good outfit that suits me, that's when I get the confidence. So if I can try and transmit that message to people, that would be wonderful. And again, you can add, you know, obviously a bag and you know, lots of different accessories to this. So, hope you enjoyed that one. Bye for now. So, this is my next look. A um, bit more dressy this time, more of an evening kind of look. I don't think you can see the bottom of the trousers, but I'm wearing a wide legged white pant. And I've dressed up the jacket this time with a very pretty Zara lacy top. It's very see through, so I've put a little thing underneath. This is a really cheap bag. It was nine euros from CNA, but it's just the one I have that's pink. Now in terms of shoes, because I'm going for a more dressy look, I would, I very rarely wear heels, but you can wear something like this. Um, these are lovely Minelli shoes. They've got a nice heel. I'm very, I'm not comfortable in heels, but these ones I can just about do. Minelli's a really lovely brand. And the other choice I have, um, these are funny ones. These are like little Karl Lagerfeld shoes. They're sort of made of plastic. I've only worn them a couple of times, but they're unusual. They give a little bit of a heel. It's the color that's right. So that's why I would wear them. 
they look great under very wide leg trousers because the little point sticks out and they sort of got a little bit of a heel and they've got little curls on them rest in peace Carl. rest in peace Carl. can you see that i don't know if you can see there's little Carl lagerfeld's head these are from the bon marche and you can go swimming in them they're like made of plastic they're really sort of cool shoes i wear them with thick tights this color ripped pinkish beige type tights in the summer in the winter with a shorter skirt and it's a quite a quirky unusual thing anyway so i'm wearing the jacket again but this time i normally wear the belt outside because i do like a jacket with a belt but because i'm going for a different look i've got a five pound primark belt on and i'm wearing it on underneath the jacket for a change so bye for now so this time i've gone for a dress different type of look this is a Claudie Piello dress. Do we know Claudie Piello? It's part of the Marge Sando range, the two sisters that do the three brands. It's a very pretty dress, but I don't wear it very often. It's very short and it's not good on the tummy. So I um, kind of found a solution with the jacket. Um, again, I'm mixing prints. Doesn't matter that these are little flowers. In fact, I've done my nails. I've just forgot to mention the flowers match the dress. That's just by the by. Um, so I've got a tiny belt to bring in the green to tie it together. I could have worn a black beret with a black bag. For some reason, I've put on a light coloured beret and I matched that with this sort of spring bag. There's lots of things going on. I don't care about rules and the colours. I just know that for me, it's pulled it all together. It's quite quirky. It's very Parisian and I'm ready to go out for the day. And I've sort of recycled an old dress that was kind of not sure what to do with anymore. So, bye for now. This look is about showing them who's the boss. Girl power, you're in charge. You're going for a job interview, you've got your cheap jacket on. They don't need to know it's cheap. Attitude, attitude is everything. You walk into that interview and you sashay your stuff. You put on your sunglasses, you grab your long shop computer bag, you're in business. Don't walk in there like this saying, I'm wearing a cheap jacket. Don't work with me. No, pull those shoulders back. Walk in, show them that you're gonna get this job. The contract that's worth 10 million pounds. It's the cheapest outfit. This is a Uniqlo seven pound top. It's a sleeveless top. I've got my same pimpy jacket on that I had on before. And it's also got this long Uniqlo skirt. And I've tied it up, even though it's boiling hot and it's 40 degrees out and I'm dying, with some chocolate brown boots because we're coming in for autumn and fall. So the trends are about to start changing, ladies. So forget about the summer. Before you know it, we'll be in fall. And before you know it, it's the holidays and Christmas. It's about attitude. Put on the glasses, grab a bag and look like you mean business and they'll think that you mean business. Bye for now. reading my yellow books. I like to show off my yellow books when I'm wearing a yellow skirt as you do. Back to the jacket. I've already shown this Stradivarius yellow skirt and t-shirt with the yellow square. So out they come again because I love black and white with that shock of yellow. It really brings everything to life. I've got my Claudie Piello bag again that I've shown in many tutorials. It's just a very simple classic black bag and this time I'm using this double belt it's fabulous this belt it's from Zara you can actually split it down into two belts it's about 20 euros I think it's just plastic but it's um I've worn belts with this jacket many times before but there's something about a double belt it gives it a slightly different look if you can see and this yellow was a huge hit on one of my style tutorials that I first did way back when I didn't particularly like it myself. I'm not such a fan of yellow, but it was such a hit, I decided to bring it out again. And I must admit the yellow with the black writing and the black and white sort of makes everything pop. Bye for now. So I thought I'd end off with a very over the top way of wearing this very cheap jacket. <laughs> it's too over the top even for me, but it's, I've totally exaggerated to make my point. So, these are like harem type gold pants, which glisten in the light, which I love. They're from the same shop that I bought the 
jacket in, they're from Pimkey. They were 20 euros with 40% off. And in this store, I got two items, buy one free. So you can imagine, they were like 10 pounds. I was determined to do something with these trousers. They don't go with the outfit, but I'm making the point. So this is a Kukai shirt. I don't know if you can see, there's some gold trim on there. So that part works. I love these type of collars. It's got some French writing on there. Kukai is a French brand. The collar works with the jacket. I like that. I don't mind this. It's a bit 1980s, but never mind. I've cinched it in at the waist with a gold. This is an old Zara belt. I'm a bit in my 1980s mode, but revised. It's just about okay. So the gold goes with the gold on here. It's just a way of really, really exaggerating the look. So you can see what you can do with the jacket. The trousers don't really match. They're not the right thing. It's just a bit of fun. Do you know what I mean? If I had a gold wide leg pant, I'd wear them with high heels. I'm just giving you the broad lines of how you can dress up this jacket. I hope you've enjoyed all these videos. If you have enjoyed these videos, you know what I'm going to say. You've got to do that linking, subscribing, doing, thinking and tell your friends and everyone to follow me. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next videos are coming. Tell everybody else to subscribe. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you put some comments down below and I'll catch you on the next time. Bye for now.